Stampers, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and I have the 2nd of October's Hostess Club cards for you today. Um, we're going to use that um, a whole lot of lovely designer series paper and that is on sale here in October with buy three, get one free. There's a whole variety of papers that are on special and this is one of them. And we're going to use that Happy Birthday Thinlet as well and the Big on Birthday stamp set. I like both of them. They're quite um, versatile. So. Um, this is actually a fairly simple card. It goes together pretty easy. Um, we are using the Blossom Builder Punch as well. And so this is the card, the cutting sizes that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need scraps of three different colors, the Calypso Coral, the Pear Pizzazz, and the So Saffron. So, all right. The step one is to run the two scraps through the Big Shot with the Happy Birthday Thinlet. And what you're going to get is two um, Happy Birthdays. And let's start with the inside because that is going to be the simplest. All right. What you're going to need to do is let's stamp. Actually, let's glue the little strip. These are things that you might be tem tempted to throw away, but again, um, save them for decorating the inside of your cards because it just adds a little pop of color there. And, oh, excuse me. I'm going to need some basic black and I'm going to stamp a It's Your Day. We're going to have a good time right here in the center. Okay. All right, then we're going to attach that to the Calypso Coral. and adhere that to the inside of our card. And that's the inside, pretty quick and simple. Okay, now it's a matter of adhering the outside. I'm going to layer the A Whole lot of Lovely on top of the Calypso Coral layer. Attach that to the front of the card. Let's get that out of the way so we don't drop our card into it. Because that's never happened before. Okay. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use some of that green glue. And we're going to attach first the happy birthday. And the green that to the front. It's kind of cute just like that. But let's add the yellow. And we're going to offset it just slightly to the left so that it gives it kind of a shadow effect. Okay. Now we're ready to attach our um, flowers. What you're going to need is the Calypso Coral. You need six of these, two of these, and two of those. Um, this is in Pear Pizzazz and these two in Calypso Coral. So what you're going to do is do two of them and my snail is being difficult today. I'm going to take the star and I'm going to cut off just two of the little pieces and attach our, have a little bit of overkill here. We can rub off with our adhesive remover. I have to find that in a second. So go ahead and attach that to our card. I'm gonna tuck that right in over here. Then we're gonna take two more of the small ones and attach them on the larger of the two. And the piece that we cut apart is going to go right here on the bottom. Okay, and that one we can attach with dimensionals right to the upper left corner of our happy birthday. And then we'll repeat the process and attach that one with dimensionals to the lower right corner. And we'll stick that one right here. And then we just want to stamp a to you 
So that's just a little scrap. And again, I'm good. Ah, it's already been stamped for me. Well, go figure. All right, so we're going to do These little mini dimensionals are fabulous for small little things like this. So, all right. So there you have it. Just a very simple little birthday card. Outside, inside. Thanks again. Sarah with stinkingcutecards.com.